Hello, it's Rug Lover Mary, and today I'm going to show you some Turkish rugs that were in a flood up island in Bella Kula. And uh, we are going to clean and repair them. This one, as you can see, is very white and it's very dusty. I don't know if you can see the dust cloud, but that's why it looks very dull and not very bright because it's covered in a fine silt from the river water. And this one over here got the worst of the color bleed. You can see that this patch right here is very light compared to the rest of the navy and the reds and navy in this rug both bled where most of the other rugs only the reds bled there are 11 rugs in total that uh, got wet and luckily the water receded within 12 hours instead of many days or else these rugs would have been in a bit worse of shape but what the client did before he came to us for cleaning was he went to several rug galleries in Victoria, BC to check out the price of replacing them. All 11 rugs in his collection are Turkish rugs, so he knows that he wanted Turkish rugs to replace them. And the price he's paying to clean them all, do our non-toxic, non-chemical moth treatment, and to repair, machine repair the ends of these rugs is way less than it would be to replace them. And here is four more of the rugs, all varying sizes, patterns, and colors, but all sharing the fact that they all get wet they were very dusty from this fine silt and that most of the ends are frayed either just over time by a new puppy or just from the vacuum. The color bleed is going to remain in the rugs just because to remove the color bleed is definitely more investment into these rugs than necessary. So it'll be nice to see these rugs in about a month after we clean them, repair them, and do our moth treatment to see how bright and lovely they are afterwards. So if you have any rugs that are victims of floods, you need to get them taken care of professionally right away so that only minimal damage will be done and uh, get them repaired probably before they get to this stage because this rug is missing two inches of rug and a good two inches of fringes and we have to cut that back into here to stabilize it. But uh, these rugs were lucky because they're wool on a wool foundation. If they had been on a cotton foundation the cotton probably would have rotted and the rugs would have fallen apart and they definitely wouldn't have been able to be cleaned nor repaired successfully. So flooded rugs just because they get wet and a little bit of color bleed does not mean that they are not worth taking care of and loving for many more years. This has been Rug Lover Mary. Thanks.